I'm yeah, actually gonna play raid. This is crazy. The place that we're gonna be hot dropping at is gonna be straight Damn. building. Damn. Damn. If I can get enough kills there, I should be able to <laughs> get. I know that clip's not terribly impressive because bomb go boom, yay, you know, five kills at the press of like <laughs> two buttons, you know, <laughs> but still, uh, I figured I'd upload it because it is the last clip that I have from Overwatch, and it probably will be either forever or for a long time because I cannot see myself playing Overwatch. The game is just, it, it's miserable, it's not fun. Uh, I have not had fun playing the game, none of my friends have had fun playing the game and I really do not plan on going back and playing the game unless it becomes fun again. And like the PvE news definitely didn't help, but I mean, in my experience, I've always played Overwatch because it's a multiplayer shooter anyways, but it would have been nice to have the PvE, which I'm not paying $15 for three fucking missions, by the way. Anyways, I've been playing a lot of other games, and that's why you're gonna see some of these clips, just random clips of games I've been playing on my Xbox. I've been playing a lot of different things, and to kind of sum up Overwatch and the reason why I don't enjoy it, the biggest reason is probably the meta. And the metas are always... I know Overwatch has always had meta issues, and I understand Overwatch is not an easy game to balance. But when you have a certain meta that's just not fun to play against because the people who are abusing it are playing it simply because it's the best thing in the game and it doesn't require much skill, it brings it to a point to where the game just... it gets soulless very fast. And it makes it to where, like, oh, you want to run this character? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. You can't do it, because fuck you for playing Genji. Like, you're either <laughs> using the meta characters, or you're playing rock, paper, scissors to counter the meta characters, and it's just, it's just not fun. And I know there's always going to be a meta for multiplayer games. Like, people are going to flock to what's best in the game because it's the best in the game. Like, <laughs> why wouldn't you use it? My problem isn't the fact that there's something that's best in a game. You can't really avoid that. That's always going to happen. I'm not asking for 100% balance. What I'm asking for is to not have a meta where things are brainless. <laughs> because for me, it's boring to sit there and play the most brainless character or use the most brainless gun, whatever game you're talking about here. It just gets old. It's boring. There's, there's nothing behind it. It's like, man, I really did something. It's like, wow, I did something that everybody else can already do. But that's enough about Overwatch. I'm not going to sit here and talk about all the problems the game has because I think that's already been said enough times for the last couple of months. The point I'm trying to make is that games are supposed to be fun, and if they're not fun, I'm not going to play it. And it doesn't just apply to Overwatch, it applies to every game. I'm not going to make myself miserable doing something I don't want to do. There's better things in life than, you know, games. If, if, uh, if I find that gaming isn't fun anymore, I'll move on. And if it's just a select few games, then I'll find something else to play. I feel like to be able to make the best content that I can possibly be able to provide, I have to enjoy what I'm doing in the first place. And even then, like I said, the whole point of playing games is to have fun. If I'm not having fun, then what's the point? And you shouldn't have to worry about Siege or Tarkov going away anytime soon, though, just because I actually do enjoy playing those games, especially with my friends. If any game were to be more likely, it would just be Siege, and that's just if my friends are playing it or not, because I don't play Siege by myself a whole lot anymore. Uh, Tarkov's going to stick around for a while. The only thing about Tarkov is just, like, towards end wipe, you might see me play less. But at that point, I'll have a bunch of content gathered up and ready to go anyways, so I should have co uh, consistent content for the game either way. I know this is quite a change of pace from what I'm used to doing, and it's not going to be a thing that's going to keep happening. It's only going to happen when it's necessary, or whenever I think it's necessary to explain myself. Because I feel like these kind of videos are counterproductive to what I want to do with my channel. Like, I want to provide things that are entertaining because it's funny, or because it's legitimately interesting to watch. Like, I don't want to sit here and bitch all the time. Anyways, moving aside from that, the next few videos are going to be Siege, Tarkov, Normal Ordeal. Maybe I might end up creating, like, a Halo video or something. And I do plan on getting an Elgato capture card in the future, so I will be able to record games on my Xbox, so you will see me playing some other stuff as well. Because uh, my Xbox clips recently have been broken, like they have no audio, and uh, they just like get deleted quickly for some reason. I, I don't know, it's just broken. But uh, I'm going to get it figured out, and when I do, I'll update you guys on that. But until then guys, take it easy.